it's yet another beautiful evening in the capital city of abuja welcome to the news on the hour i'm zoya hamza the national concern party ncp has urged the federal government to do its best to speedily resolve all issues delaying the implementation of the thirty thousand minimum wage the lagos state chairman of the party fatai ibn owo gave the advice in an interview today he said workers had endured enough hardship owing to the prevailing economic reality, saying that implementation of the new minimum wage would give them some scoop up. Stating that Nigerian workers have faced a lot of hardship because of high cost of goods and services and so cannot wait to be paid the new wage. He said, though Nigerians are aware that there are issues between labor and the federal government on what to pay as an increment to those on certain level, also emphasizing that all categories of workers deserve substantial wage increments in views of the present economic reality, EBOO implored the federal government to arrive at a middle ground with labor and speedily implement the Minimum Wage Act signed in April to better the lot of workers. The Chairman House of Representative Committee on Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Buba, has condemned the alleged attack on former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikurumadu by some members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra in Germany. In a statement today in Abuja, Buba urged Nigerian ambassador to Germany, Yusuf Tuga, to ensure that the attackers are made to face justice. Ekwe Romadu had on Saturday attended the second Igbo Cultural Festival of Germany as a distinguished guest of honor on the invitation of the Igbo community. Ekwe Romadu, who was violently attacked by some men believed to be members of the proscribed IPOB group, the senator who had since released a statement confirming the attack said that he was fine and had received thousands of calls and messages from Nigerian identifying with him. Buba said that given the high personality profile and the public service record which Ikurumado parades, it was unthinkable for any individual or group anywhere in the world to attack him in such a manner that his very own people in the diaspora who ought to know better to contemplate carried out the despicable public act of shame that was brought upon a well-respected national leader. The runway of the Akano Iban International Airport in Inugu State will be closed for major repairs on Saturday, the 24th of August, according to the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. The, che the chief spokesperson of the organization, Hereta Yakubu, said yesterday that stakeholders will be duly informed when the runway would be reopened. The planned closure is coming three months after the immediate past Minister of State Aviation, Hadi Sa Sarika, said the airport will be closed down over the state of the runway. The former minister has said that the airport will be degraded for international operation because the runway length is not ideal for such operation. Hereta confirmed yesterday that the closure was aimed at resolving existing problems. Meanwhile, the management of air peace has commended the federal government for the decision to close the Enugu State International Airport for proper repairs and maintenance of the airport runway. The airline chairman, Alan Oyema, who made the commendation in a statement issued to newsmen in Lagos, said the runway had been given stakeholders serious safety concern. And that's all the news on the hour. I'm Zoraira Hamza. Do have a fruitful week ahead. Bye for now.